Today we're going to be talking about histograms for marketers. So here for my example data set, I ran a crawl of my site using Screaming Frog. This is actually about a year old, but that's fine. And I pulled the word count for all the blog posts on my site. So what we're going to do is create a histogram chart with a breakdown of categories of word counts. So I want to see how many blog posts have fewer than 400 words, 400 to 600 words, 600 to 800, 800 to 1,000, and then on up from there. And then we're going to chart that out. So I'm going to show you how that's done. So over here, I'm going to create a column that I'm going to call bins. So with histograms in Excel, we're going to be using the frequency function, and I'll show you how that works. But in order for that to work, we first need to create these bins, and these are kind of the thresholds of each of the categories that you want. So if you imagine a column chart, the first column would be 0 to 400 words, then the next column in the chart would be 401 to 600 words, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But first we have to tell Excel what those bins are going to be, then we're going to use the frequency function to see how many posts fall into each of those bins. So without further ado, let's get started with that. So the top range of our first bin, I'll just set to 400, then I'll say 600, then 800, that, whoops, 1,000, and then I'm just going to set mine to 3,000 and 5,000 and 12,000. And to make this easier, I just sorted this whole table. Actually, I'll right click in here and choose sort smallest to largest. And so I could quickly scan and see what would be good uh, breakpoints for each of those. So you can see I have quite a few that fall into the thousand range. And then I just have a few outliers, so I don't need to be as precise for the bins. Like I don't need a bin for 5,000, then one for 7,000, 9,000, etc. So I can kind of create bigger bins, so that's why I went with 1,000, 3,000, 5,000, and 12,000. So next, over here, we're going to call this frequency. And the first thing we're going to do is select these cells here. And these are the cells that we're going to populate with the frequency function. So with all of those cells selected, I'm just going to type equal, start to type frequency. And the first thing Excel wants to know is what the data array is. So that's this column of word counts here. So now keep in mind, we're taking this table that has individual line items of each of my blog posts. We're saying, I don't care about the individual blog posts themselves. I just want to know the groupings for a word count. So the easiest way to select this is to just click the first cell and then press Command Shift down arrow, Control Shift down arrow if you're on a PC, and type a comma. And now it wants to know our bins array. And we selected that here. So I'm just going to click and drag over that. But now you can't just press Enter or Return. Because it's an array function, you have to press Command Shift Return or Control, Shift, Enter on the PC. And there we go. So for blog posts with 0 to 400 words, I have 11. 401 to 600 words, I have 19, etc., etc. So I don't really want my chart to say bins, and this isn't really intuitive. So over here, I can call this anything. Because this isn't going to actually show up in the chart. I'll just call it labels. And I'll say 0 to 400, uh, 401 to 600, 601 to 800, 801 to 1,000. I always like to use the 1,000 separator. Now, keep in mind, this is all text. And you know that this is showing up as text because it's left aligned. If Excel recognized these as numbers, it would right align them. So then we're going to say... 1,001 to 3,000, 3,001 to 5,000, and finally 5,001 to 10,000. And now all we have to do is chart it. So to chart it, 
I'm going to select this column here, hold down the command or control key on a PC and select this column because we don't need that bins column. And with those selected, I'm just going to go to insert and then choose this chart here, the column chart. And there we go. Now I would just customize this to fit my branding. So I might change the color if I go in here. Change the color. This is actually my analytics orange. Get these grid lines here and either remove them all together by deleting them or you could make them a much lighter color. I don't really like grid lines. They're not my favorite thing in the world. Alternatively, you could even pull in the numbers here so that you wouldn't even need this. I'll link to a video where I talk about how to clean up your data. So I won't go into all those details on this video. But this is how you create histograms and a practical example of how you might use one as a marketer.